for some types of vaccines, um, a virus is also used as a vector? Yes, exactly. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, some of the some of the uh, strategies for coronavirus vaccine is actually taking uh, a DNA virus called adenovirus and taking out its bad genes or adeno associated virus, taking it its bad genes out and uh, inserting uh, the spike protein. That's the protein, the lock, the key protein from the virus into into that and then infecting people with that virus. Um, that's a, that's an approach that's being taken, yes. It's uh, adenovirus and adeno-associated viruses are the two viruses that are being used in that way to make vaccines. Um, there are other approaches, there are other approaches by using um, another, another, uh, another group uh, is trying to use uh, the, pro the uh, vaccinia virus which is uh, the uh, virus that was used, you know, for smallpox vaccination, and uh, putting this spike protein or proteins from coronavirus into it. If you, what does that mean exactly? If you put the protein, the spike protein, into this new uh, vaccine, yes. What is that? Then what? What happens? What happens is you get a. Uh, a small infection, a mild infection uh, of the, at, the, at the area of injection. And uh, the cells, the infected cells will, uh, uh, the virus will produce this protein of uh, the coronavirus along with its own, its own uh, proteins. And uh, your immune system will recognize it. So uh, in a sense, the, uh, the vector is kind of uh, 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 a stimulant for uh, for uh, the immune system to recognize uh, the proteins that you want uh, to to have a a vaccine to. Okay, so this the virus that we're using as like the vector. Yes. It's 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 uh, been prepared in such a way that it's not going to cause the negative effects that, that, right. that SARS-CoV-2. But right. by but by having the protein that's that spike protein, it does get an antibody response from us. You so it's it. it's a way to to train our body to defend against that specific protein without it being attached to that specific. Uh, virus, the, the SARS-CoV. Oh, okay, Un <laughs> okay. So then we're prepared, and then when if we get infected by SARS-CoV-2, we're producing antibodies that are going right to block the spike protein. We hope so. Interesting.